Hey, so the still work. Are you ready? Uh, selection limit is still, f um, it's still, it's still 50 as far as I'm aware. So friend here, Riot Coke, who we are not very familiar with. He's he's he's, he's he seems friendly enough. He's given us a smiley face. Um, he seems to be very experienced with the Swedes, though. So when you start in the game, you actually have a specific unique music. So this is a Swede music. And when the game starts, um, in the spirit of competitive play, I have to assume. Um, maybe you won't see it here. Hello. Oh, that's a bit too fast. Yeah, okay, anyway. Um, we should change that in options. Interesting, so they got actually got a ping indicator here as well. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do here is build a torp. So torps are kind of like um, shrines, except they exhaust resources, right? I put one here. And what they do is they kind of, they, they basically, um, what's this? 75 food. They basically gather resources from what's around them. So they're essentially Sui herding. They've, they're the personification of Victor Sui, right? Um, so, okay, they've got this kind of aura around the resources that they're getting. And I believe that, yeah, so they can actually Victor they can, they, they can actually do the sweet herding for you, which is very convenient. Make one more help. It cost uh, 120 now. Okay, so that's been changed. They used to cost, um, they used to cost um, 110 each. So that's been changed. I won't, won't dwell too much on what was in the beta and what was not in the beta. So we'll, we'll choose the beginner deck. And, and just keep sweet herding here, because sweet herding is good. There we go. Yeah, they don't they don't gather from three at a time. I believe it might be just one one unique type at a time. Not sure. Anyway, so when you build this to kind of make sure that there's always some kind of benefit, um, you have um, can't actually see what this is. Yeah, well, you have um, you have a berry bush spawn as well every time you build your tarp, right? open that so this slowly gathers from it i'm not exactly sure the specifics of how fast it is uh, but uh, it does happen I'll just change that option okay you know, it's just scrolling a bit too fast uh let's kind of acceleration here scroll speed will fly. yeah maybe that's a bit better yeah okay <clears throat> First, you know other things yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Start herding just like we learned earlier, because you gotta herd. That's how you become. A pro I mean, I'm still only silver at herding, but maybe I can be gold with enough um, with enough practice. And can I also add that I really like the voice acting for the Swedes. Just listen to that. I know I have no idea what he's saying, but he sounds great. Let's listen to that. I'll just zoom in and watch him. Watch him just shouting out. Okay, now I can age up. Um, let's see. Hot air balloon. I'll go for this one, 900. Um, because my why not, right? And like Brits, I assume the most uh, optimal way to play this is to actually just put people in wood while aging up. Hello, What's this 80 coin? I'm gonna have to uh, probably change uh, change the um, setting there. Where is that? Game options, UI options, tooltip delay, short, apply, cancel, back. Okay. Hello. You probably want to put them near gold mines as well. Hopefully he's not stealing this. He's not. He doesn't sound angry, he sounds very excited. He's very excited for the release of DE. That's what he is. Maybe you want to make a market as well. Nah, do we need a market? No, we want just more houses. Houses shall be. There's a, there is a, there is a, no, there's a, you know, kind of radius around these. Okay, maybe we do want a house, because we're, what's basically happening is that, um, uh, 
We don't need a house if only uh, a market if only to uh, trade resources at the market because that's what you do, right? He's ahead. Of, he's ahead of the meta because he's got a trading post and I do not. Kind of uh, my, my my bad for that. And what we'll do first is we'll send for for these. Perhaps. For these. Change my mind, I'm gonna send some iron wood. Now I'm gonna change my mind again, I'm gonna send cows. Because we gotta, we gotta try all the, all the different things in the game. And we'll get a few uh, upgrades here. And yeah, hunting dogs might be important because that kind of ties into our, what we learned earlier about, about herding. Uh, well, you don't want to do this. This is called sweet herding. Um, actually, I think you do want to do this because you are the Swedes. I will in our jelly foundry. I want to see. I want to see um, w whether it's still as uh, good as I remember. Yes. Right. So we go in our jelly foundry from that wagon. And put this guy in. Got cows and some seven hundred. Next. So you got these things called leather cannons, right? Um, leather cannons are pretty much uh, aged to... Aged to... Um, I mean, they're aged to cannons. Now, how OP might that be? Right? Who knows? Um, you can see his score is overtaking me bit by bit. He's, he's scouting, he's, he's wondering what I'm up to. Go in here and just use that. Let's do this. And maybe um, just train cannons here. Just gonna, gonna, gonna run around. There. Send these on to. Um, better that. And maybe may build a barracks because there may be a need to make a weapon or something. So this is gonna be two leather cannons. Um, these are gonna do. Gonna go in and raid a bit. Explore here, because I don't think they taught me how to explore just yet, but um, maybe I have some previous knowledge from RTS games, um, similar to this one. So that, that's maybe why I know how to explore, with my and shift click as well. I'll just siege down the port until we have enough pikemen. Yeah, keep doing that. Where, where are my hunts? There are my hunts. Hello, go Hello, this down. Probably not very efficient, so he scores way ahead right now. Um, but so long as we have enough height, this should be fine. And now, next one is we'll send even more, more of these, right? Okay. Where's my hunt? It's a bit hard to see in the mini map, but apparently there are hunts over here. Do that. And do this. And, uh, you know, try to figure out which one is a treasure guardian and which one is not. And now we have pikemen. So because we have pikemen, we go for the town center. We've got our XP. Seven minutes in the game. Most most saves would already be aged up at this point. But, uh, you know, whatever. I'll go in and start, uh, start seizing stuff down. Right? Right? Yeah. So, good thing we have these, because, uh, obviously he anticipated that I would have, uh, more cannons. It's a very good thing that that happened. So, got more fighting. I'll just keep training pikemen from this point. Uh, maybe send that. And I'll start targeting the town center. Okay, maybe I should start switching over into coin, coin units as well. So go into that, and we'll start making these uh, new musketeers. Right. Let me get that. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So now he's in the fortress stage. I don't know why he is that weird, but uh, we'll start targeting the town center. Siege isn't that great for these. 
I don't have any idea why he's aged up with. Uh, might want to um, trade a bit. So the thing about these Carolines is they're quite similar to Pikemen. I don't want those. Okay. And now these Black Riders are out and I'm in a bit of trouble. Because uh, this, this was not kind of a uh, kind of, uh, thing I signed up for. Let's build a another barracks. Can I actually see the hit key on these? But, uh, the interesting thing about these Carlines is that they actually go faster in melee mode. Uh, go with a six spies because these might be useful. These are basically Titans. I don't want him to get his next um, next thing out. So that. Change the point for that. He's going to have his next shipment out soon. I don't have enough units to target these. So as you can see, these aren't actually like super OP or anything, because I did just get get uh, get pushed back. And now it's just looking to be a bit of a uh, a bit of a um, tricky situation. Well, this is because um, Swedes when they age up, they get advanced action by default, right? So let's go here. I uh, knowing him, he's probably gonna you know. He's probably going to make um, more, make more mercenaries, right? Uh, I mean, not knowing him, because obviously I have no, no idea who he is. But let's assume that I know who he is, right? It's going to be more mercenaries. So what do we do? We do not do that. Go in here and start attacking these with spies. Which have to some extent being buff, and because it's very difficult to kind of see um, what is what, it is being somewhat useful, somewhat, somewhat, um, somewhat successful, but uh, don't think it's been too successful. Yeah, it might, it might be interesting to have spies with wings attack. Uh, anyway, um, at this point in the game, we're, we're just Turkey as the Swedes. Uh, we can run off like this because with, with the, with the um, I believe it's already been upgraded, right? Yeah. So we got um, we got that in. We got uh, we got basically musketeers who aren't quite musketeers with five point seven eight speed. So what these Carolians do is um, they actually have a bonus against cav in range, and they're mainly attack against. Uh, they don't actually have a bonus against cavalry, so they're, they're not actually. And I, uh, I'm not actually piking like I described in earlier. Anyway, we'll go around the map and uh, try try and um, annoy him a bit before resigning. Yes, that's what you want to do. So you can find some villagers. So, okay. Villager. That's a stable. That's already been built. Maybe that's a kind of a bug with the. Um, Thing. Can we age up here? Probably not. Run around. It is hard to distinguish the units, but I think it's something which we'll get used to eventually. So let's pull him away. We'll try age up here. Um, it's like uh, it's uh, not looking too good here. So these are these are hack up out. So what what they're like? Um, they're like uh, Ulan in a way. Because you got pretty high hand attack, um, they but they can actually do. They've got a small range attack as well. So right now they're in, they're in range. They're in range mo mode, which uh, they've got a small like uh, six six range and uh, you know, thirty one range attack. It's uh, age up here. Hold on. Uh, go with uh, two leather cannons. Um, so as I was saying, these these are kind of um, 
They're not quite. They're like a hybrid between dragoon, dragoon type unit and um, melee cav unit, right? Because they've got both range attack, which apparently has uh, one area, and they've got a hand attack as well, which is also pretty high. So they're not, they're not dragoons, but they're not, they're not hustlers at the same time. A bit like your your gym, it's true. Anyway, I think that's all we have to offer at this point in time. So I shall resign now and uh, say GG. I like some of the, the improvements which we've had before, which they've added to the uh, UI. Um, but I think could still... Okay. Uh, so it, it will take a while to get used to how all the different units look like. Um. Uh, we'll, we'll go have a look at the post game. So post game, it doesn't it doesn't actually have a. Um, there's no. There's no option to chat while you're looking at the post game, so you're effectively locked in the post game. You can't chat to people while looking at the post game. Hopefully, they do improve this in the future. Now look at the timeline. Um, all unit count, military count, all the all the no normal stats are here. Where's your population? Military unit population. Um, food total. All, all the normal stats we're used to. Okay, and I can quit and go into one more game. I think I'll just do one more game before before logging off, and because it's uh, let's see, you can browse that. Okay, so well, this this guy seemed pretty friendly the last time, so we'll we'll play against him again. Except his his, his game is full now, apparently. Maybe someone got to him first. Yeah, this guy again, yeah. Okay, so apparently um, he is in the Twitch chat, this this Riot Goat guy. Uh, yes, he hasn't hosted, so I will I will actually host a game here. In fact, what I'm going to do, and what I would, exp what I would I advise um, him to do as well is just to kind of show how the ranked game system works, right? I'm going to queue up for Supremacy. 1v1 and I'm going to expect him to do the same. Of course I have no idea if he's going to do the same but I expect with his psychic powers he might he might he might be doing the same. Okay so we'll, we'll stay with Swedes. The leaderboard is there. We, we've got some uh, interesting uh, dev developers I assume. It's been re it's not the same as uh, what others will have. This is a press release version of the game which is quite similar to the final version. Yeah, um, I'm not sure they've... Yeah, there, there is no page 2 yet, because there's not enough people. So you can't check it. You can't check it. That bug has been fixed yet. I hope he's queuing up. I think the experience points are, are f so that you can um, experience points are probably so you can customize your home city, right? Maybe you gain more points, or maybe just for prestige, you know, higher, higher homes, higher home city level, more experienced player. Experienced players might be able to play on uh, experienced player patch EP. Who knows? So now, so this is how how it looks like. So you don't actually know the sieve or, or who you're up against when the game starts. But you, you do know now. Um, but you don't know the sieve yet, which is a bit annoying. So this is the central plane. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not exactly sure. 
Hallå. Okay. Skogshugga. 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 Uh, maybe just chop five wood. And get myself um these. Maybe maybe this year next to the wood. And one around 65. Okay. Now the thing is that I don't have no idea what his Zivi is after loading the game. I should have to go here and check. Sorry, this one. So now that I know that he's playing as the Germans. I wonder what he's gonna do. I'll do one more here. Hello. Because coin mines are pretty infinite. Well, well pretty long lasting. So I assume that you do want to put these near coin mines and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, this is on very far. Let's let's change it to um, game options. Let's change it to far. Yeah, maybe that's going to be a bit there for visibility. Anyway, start kiting the treasures. Hello. This is not how you heard, by the way. Just want to make that clear. And you can see why I um, I only got silver in the in the in the uh, thing. Maybe I'll get there, maybe I'll get worse. I think you should be able to rotate camera, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to mess things up. Go for a land deck. This time, three settlers. Sorry. So if there are any Asian Empires 2 players tuning in, you do have this kind of mechanic where you pop on villagers just to kind of to minimize um, walking time. There's clouds moving across. I don't know if you can make them out, but there are clouds moving across the map. So nice aesthetic changes like that. They haven't fixed this apparently, so you don't actually see exactly what shipment it is. You have to hover above it. So you know it's settlers, but you don't know exactly how many settlers. That's kind of a uh, feedback which hasn't been taken into consideration just yet. Yeah, we should all just cut this. Yeah, Swedish sound explorer noises are, are great. Uh, went a bit too far there. I believe this is probably based on EP high planes, but uh, changed as you can see. There's there's different natives. Because we're apparently now located in China. And now we'll age up with something more in use, well, normal. We'll go for Alpha Swagon. And of course, like Brits, I'm going to assume that the optimal way to do this is put everyone on. Um, I'm not gonna put it on that one because I want I want the um, I want the torp to be able to get this for as long as possible. So I assume there's gonna be like a kind of optimal ways to place your torp, which have not been figured out just yet. These are not berry bushes, by the way. These are things which look suspiciously, but like berry bushes, but are not berry bushes. Let's go get that trading post to ASAP. Those will sometimes. Um, Go idle randomly. Just, uh, starting that. And maybe send those to forward to build a forward base. And this looks like a good place to put another torp. Exactly that. Sweet. And this is just kind of more of a micro trick where. Because in Asian Empires 3, you can't just build units directly next to your opponent's down center. So that's why um, I'm using a wall segment, which is the cheapest unit here. Cheapest, um, not cheapest unit, cheapest uh, building to kind of gauge the distance of where I can and can't place a building. Okay, let's see. Start herding. Check the HP in the unit. Now. I'll go with uh, 700 wood first. Pull the barracks. Yes, up goes forward. I'm gonna assume that uh, he's got a trading post somewhere down south. We'll start with Pikeman and then transition over to the other unit. And maybe, maybe get, a, maybe get a market up because I haven't got a market up just yet. And of course, keep getting treasures. This is guarded by two tigers. The second one is a bit difficult to see, but there is one there. I'm going to move this away once this is built. 
I should go with the uh, Carolines. Car Carolines. Californians. Yeah, for the first batch, just to run around with them. This one, probably here. Spin out a bit. And then next one is going to be Pikeman. A bit more torps near there. Maybe one more torp near here. And put these out. And of course, I need to open this up, otherwise, I can't see how many, how many villagers are in there. Okay. He's raiding me already because uh, he, he is, of course, German. Which means we get uh, two Fiolans with every. Um, two Fiolans with every. Um, with every shipment. And kind of uh, unexpected, he's going for a saloon build. Let's go down here and go uh, here. Make yourself a uh, stable. Start seeking this down because if someone is going for a um, an age 3 build, you just want to kind of deny the TV so they can't. Um, so they can't. Uh, how do I say? Uh, they can't. They can't benefit immediately from all the. Um, can't benefit immediately from uh, the shipments because they've got less of that XP uh, XP income. So you're gonna see just down. And then this way and make me maybe um train train cab here. He's that down. He's, he's, he's go around and start raiding a bit. Now he's coming back in again. Let's put those in the town center. Okay. Change the certain point. Go back because he's probably going to have some units coming out. And put one of these there, one of these here, one of these there. And just run, run around here. Maybe one more out here. Yeah. I'm going to run off here. I thought some villagers heading out there, so I'll go and raid those. Start mailing those, and you can see them that they melee quite well, right? So they actually kill the village. So they're, they're like um, they're pretty good. Looks like he's committed to making these local monks. No. Mm, just keep uh, making units how we normally would make them. Shipping the two two falconets here, not two falconets, two two um two um guild what are they called? What are they call they they call leather cannons. And keep making it. And here, we start attacking these. Uh, Death from the very bush, just because it's easier. Move forward. And start sieging down the market, I suppose. Micro bit. I'm not sure where his army is going. Oh, there it is. So what I'm going to do is actually going to retoss those. And we'll send that uh, team card. Which affects team, which affects team infantry hit points. No, we don't want to do that. I forgot to unmap Town Bell. That is going to be, have to be something which I do eventually. So you can find some more villagers down there. Settlers rather. Yeah, so these aren't actually that great as mercenaries. So we can find more villagers somewhere. There's the villagers over here. It is. So, 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 yeah. 
So when you when you win, you've got this shiny screen. So now we've we've shown two aspects of the game, right? One one was an unranked game where you lost and it was kind of dull. Now we've got the shiny shiny light. Excellent. Um. I look at the post game. Timeline still same as before. All, all that stuff which I showed earlier. I'll quit now and mm, I think if we go and just quickly show the leaderboards. I'm not on the leaderboards just yet because well it doesn't say here but um, I think you need a minimum of 10, 10 ranked games to actually be on the leaderboard so I believe you start 1000 which is why I've gone from 1000 to 1048 from, w from winning that game. Yeah I'm not on the leaderboard just yet. And you go to your player profile, and waiting 1,008, one win, zero losses, streak one. So that's always like. Um, okay. So I do hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, it is getting quite late where I am, and that's going to be all, all for today. Uh, maybe I'll continue over the weekend or something. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this kind of a sneak peek at what D has to offer game does launch in uh, seven days from now pretty much on the 15th obviously looking forward to that um, and yeah um, thanks for watching <laughs>